What is the number one thing that repels your ex from you? We're gonna go ahead and get into this. It might be a little bit surprising when you actually think about it, but it's all going to make sense. So stay tuned, we're gonna walk through this and especially how to overcome all of this. Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life. And like I just mentioned in this video, we are going to be talking about the main thing that actually repels your ex from you. Now, of course, you may have seen all sorts of other videos that talk about your masculine or feminine energy. You may have heard of things like attraction. It might be things like whether you're fit and in shape or not. Um, and you know, those things can have some influence over it for sure, depending on some factors at place here. But really the main reason why your ex is going to lose attraction for you or is going to be repelled by you is not because of you know whether or not you're masculine enough or feminine enough it's not necessarily going to be whether or not you're in shape it's not necessarily going to be whether or not, it's, it's certainly not going to be whether or not um, you use the right uh, reverse psychology tricks or mind games or anything like that it's not because you're not playing hard uh, to get enough or anything like that it's simply because when they interact with you, they get the sense that they're walking into the same dynamic or the same relationship that they walked out of in the first place. And this is going to take on a different flavor for each person because obviously your relationship broke up for different reasons than maybe the next person's relationship. For one person, they might have broken up because there was just a lack of trust. For the next person, it could have been too much arguing. For the person after that, it could have been, um, you know, because their partner kept saying they were going to do one thing and then they didn't do it, or because maybe they lost motivation, right? Your ex obviously feels some degree of attraction for you, Otherwise, the two of you wouldn't have ever gotten together and been in a relationship. So you don't really need to worry about the attraction component. I've never actually had a client whose ex like legitimately lost attraction for them. If that did happen, though, it would be because of some sort of like really dramatic transformation for the worse um, in your ex's opinion, whatever the worst might be in their mind. But, you know, it'd be something like, OK, you know, you've gained or lost like a tremendous amount of weight or you had some sort of personality break and you're no longer the same person that they recognized before. Maybe you were living a double life or, you know, something like that. Aside from that, your ex probably still does feel attraction for you. It's just that attraction is going to be blocked by certain things that indicate that, hey, I'm walking back into the same relationship, but this is out of alignment with what I want. Maybe they want to be in a relationship with someone who um, is going somewhere in life, but maybe you've just lost all motivation because of something that happened in your life. I mean, goodness knows, we've all been through a lot in the past two years or so um, in the global world place, because you know, it is 2022 here. Um, but you know, you may have experienced some sort of setback in your own personal life based off of, you know, something that could have been happening in your small little slice of life as well, too. If you are not in alignment with what they're looking for in a relationship or they signed up for a relationship with you under certain pretexts and a certain assumptions, and then things have shifted or changed for the worse in their opinion, and they don't see you making any real progress, then that's when they're gonna start to say, mm, okay, I don't know if this is the right person for me, let me pull back. And that is why um, there isn't this one size fits all approach that maybe you have heard other people, um, let's just say suggest or uh, flat out claim that there is when it comes to breakups and relationships. Um, it's not just a matter of reverse psychology. It's not just a matter of being you know, manly enough or womanly enough um, or anything like that. It's really a matter of taking a look at what happened in your relationship and saying like, okay, what wasn't working? What was it that got your ex to say, hey, this isn't the right relationship for me. I'm out of here and saying, okay, if that is something that they don't want, if that's something that's going to cause them to leave, am I presenting something that is similar to that or maybe an improvement from that? And if you're presenting something that is an improvement from that, then they're going to um, feel more of a pull towards you, okay? So we want to make sure that we're not just embodying the same energy or, or some equal energy that could be equally repulsive. And by repulsive, I mean, you know, is repelling, not that you're, you know, uh, repulsive to look at or anything. But, you know, that's, that's why things like, you know, begging and pleading, promising up and down that things are gonna be different, um, you know, texting a million times a day, all the, you know, classic needy, clingy kind of behavior doesn't work out. It's because 
it's it's it, it might not necessarily be the same thing that they left but it's also not something that's you know very desirable or very fun to experience either so we want to make sure that we're really embodying something truly different and of course you know this is where a lot of people start to try on different strategies like let me you know play hard to get let me learn this reverse psychology stuff because if I just do something that worked for someone else then you know maybe it's going to work for me and you know sure that can do things like cut off the neediness cut off the drive to you know text someone a million times a day and all that but it's not necessarily going to shift you emotionally underneath and that's really why we want to take a look at not just tactical things what to say and what to do but also how we're showing up who we're being in this uh, dynamic in this interaction in this relationship and that's why it's really 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 important to be looking at your emotional state your way of being as we've been calling it in uh, previous videos and in this particular playlist up here on um, how to automatically attract your ex to you. What we really want to do is we want to focus in on our way of being because you know you could memorize certain tactics, you could remember, memorize things like, yeah, I gotta wait three hours before I text you back, or you know, I gotta um, you know go dark on social media so that you think I'm whatever, or all these other sorts of things, and they might have some sort of effect. But life will always present you with uncertainty. Life will always present you with situations that you cannot anticipate and when that happens typically people will reveal their true character right so maybe you might accidentally run into your ex in public and you may lose that cool composure that some YouTube video somewhere told you and you might reveal your true feelings or your true intentions or maybe they catch you off guard by asking you an unusual question or you know whatever there's always going to be some degree of uncertainty and so rather than just memorizing an endless string of what if scenarios and arbitrary rules to follow it can be much more helpful and it actually is much more helpful to just shift your way of being to embody the kind of person that you want the kind of person that is probably more in alignment with your true values probably more in alignment with what they're looking for in a relationship as well too. Which is why we have put together a um, eight hour subliminal um, affirmation recording that you can go ahead and listen to in your sleep. It helps you to reprogram yourself for more healthy relationship behaviors in your sleep. Uh, you know, most people sleep about eight hours, so it's eight hours long. Obviously, if you sleep less, you can, you know, listen to it for six hours or whatever um, or if you sleep longer just put it on a loop or something and listen to it you know one point one times through or whatever it works out to be I don't know but yeah you can go ahead and do that and uh, that is again right over here it is a eight hour long thing if you're in the middle of the day right now hey don't worry about watching it but um, if it's if it's time for you to go to bed go ahead and put it on I mean you're gonna sleep anyway you might as well work towards bettering yourself while you are sleeping so that you can actually embody the kind of energy kind of way of being and all that sort of stuff that you're looking for in your relationship and is probably gonna be really attractive for your ex so anyway go ahead and check out this recording over here if that's something you're ready to do right now or go ahead and check out this playlist over here on your way of being and the importance of that right here if that's more of something that you might be doing right now because it's the middle of the day or something anyway take care and i'll talk to you in the next video